Welcome back to Hydrogen Hype. I'm your host, Mike, and today we're talking with Kellum from ITM Power, a company that's providing unique solutions for the electrolyzer business. Let's see what they have to say. Mike Tedeschi here today from Plug Power and Hybea. I'm here with Kellum from ITM Power. And tell them a little bit about your company. You have a recent joint venture with uh, Vital. Uh, IT Motor, uh, Okay. Okay. And IT Motor will provide you with fueling stations across the UK. And I, I think I read something about a, a 24 megawatt electrolyzer with uh, Lind Energy. Uh, correct, yeah, we, we actually have two of them. Um, so we have one that's at uh, Moina uh, okay. in Germany. And we have one that's going to Norway for Yara, and both 24 megawatts. Yeah. I'm testing 30 kilowatt engines for uh, Hyvia and Plug. The megawatt scale is enormous, yeah. but uh, I'm, I'm very interested. I mean, we, we've seen the market grow quite, quite considerably in uh, the past five, ten years. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. It, yeah. it is incredible. The ramp up is remarkable. One of the questions I had for you guys uh, was, what's one of the benefits of ITM Power's hydrogen uh, generation system? Yep. Um, so yeah, we, we're a manufacturer of uh, PEM and electrolyzer technology. We have a few benefits for our systems. Um, one, we produce hydrogen at uh, 30 bar pressure. Okay. Um, so it's self-pressurizing. We produce hydrogen at uh, fuel cell grade purity. One of the key benefits of our design would be that we use a hydraulic ram in the stack itself. A so, hydraulic ram? Yeah, so we, we eliminate the need for tie rods holding the stack together. Well, that's, um, that's, that that sounds game-changing. We have a hydraulic ram that holds the stack in place, um, so it will automatically cope with uh, thermal expansion. Um, also means that stack placement is a very easy process. Um, Depressurise that hydraulic, hydraulic ram, sort the stack out, new one in, depressurize. That's why I'm here, because I'm learning cool stuff like that. Do you have some videos about how that works online? Um, we should do, yes, okay. on the ITM Power website. Yes. Okay, absolutely. i, I got to check that out. How has ITM addressed like, the challenges of uh, the hydrogen transportation, distribution, and power generation in general? Yep. Um, so, I mean, I, I would say the main challenge in, in the whole of the hydrogen industry and, and electrolyzer industry um, has been the, the ramp up. I think we've seen projects in, in you know, 2017, 2018, projects were one megawatt in scale, we thought. How, how large is this? Yeah. Um, and then today, you know, I think just yesterday, we signed um, a deal for two 100 megawatt uh, electrolyzers. Incredible. So, um, I think the, the main challenge has been, uh, I think, addressing the market and, and keeping up with that, that quite rapid growth. Across the board, that's what I hear. I would say, I would say. Um, it's good, right? I mean, we're, in, we're in the field, we're in the right field. How do you think uh, hydrogen companies can best collaborate to maximize potential? I think a lot of it is um, collaboration across different technologies within hydrogen. So, um, as an electrolyzer manufacturer, it's important to work with uh, refueling companies or companies that do methanation to ammonia synthesis. Uh, and we do, and we have a strong partnership with Linda Engineering. Um, provide those technologies and we have kind of a joint venture company with them. So um, I'd say that's one of the more important things um, across companies is what are our core competencies um, and ours is in our relationship technology um, with our companies uh, like Lake Linda. Um, we rely heavily on their world class EPC expertise and um, also their knowledge and experience in additional technologies. No, it's fantastic. I, I appreciate your time. Uh, I'm having fun. I'm meeting great people. Um, and uh, I guess the last thing to leave off with is a fun little trivia question. So I'm going to switch it over here. All right. Go ahead and spin that wheel. You can either click in the middle or spin it physically. There we go. All right. What do we got? H2 blimp. All right. Uh, what was the name of the famous blimp of hydrogen that burned up? And where did it happen? Uh, yeah. I didn't know the location either because I thought it was in Europe, but I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's where I'm from. It's in the States? Yeah. Um, from New York. I don't have the tr traditional uh, coffee and a bagel like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Staten Island. Let me let me get you some of this. I'm walking here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it actually happened in New Jersey, and uh, yeah, it was in the U.S., so Hindenburg, you got it right. I didn't New Jersey, though. Everybody at home, fact check, because the internet can always be wrong. So, yeah. Uh, Kellum? Yeah, Kellum, yeah. All right. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for your time. You too, you too. Appreciate your support. Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.